Hey, how's everybody doing today? I want to welcome you to day number 12 of the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge. And so we are on day 12. And so we've been going. Um, I'm proud of you for the people who've been going through this journey together. And I just know that God is just moving and uh, it just seems, I feel like um, clarity and truth is beginning to rest in the atmosphere of all that I'm doing uh, with the wisdom of God. Uh, being able to inspire others. And uh, I, I pray that God has been speaking to you. And no matter where you're at, whether you're just starting from the beginning or, or you've, you've already been doing this for a couple of years, but you just needed to do a tune up uh, to spend some more time with God to really get things right with him. You know, um, this will help you get to that next level in your life. And so let's start with day 12. It says, I decree and declare that you walk on water every single day and that you move mountains every single day in the name of Jesus. Today is a day for you to truly become set free. Take time out and look at who you are and find out what season you are in as we transition to the next level of prayer. And so uh, what I'm about to read now, um, this is what I call this is when uh, the work uh, begins. Because um, it's one thing to begin in to be in the posture of prayer, just being adamant about, you know what, I'm going to be praying every day. I'm going to be diligent about praying. But once you start building a relationship with God, God is going to, what I like to call, he'll start revealing the good, the bad, and the ugly of the things that you do. And so let's let's read a little bit more into it, and then we'll go into uh, this, this, this journey together, okay? So it says today's the day. Um, it is very critical that you examine the people who are in your association. You already know you should have at least one prayer warrior in your circle because it's important. Now is the time to sit back and study who your friends are, what or who needs to be cut off, what or who needs to be put at a distance pertaining to your life. Are you in a relationship that is stopping you from hearing the heartbeat of God? Are you operating in the right attitude when it comes to the job you are on? What are you doing behind closed doors? Are you operating in the spirit of self-sabotage? These are real questions that you need to ask yourself. You can't get results in prayer if you have the wrong things in the way. And so, you know, this is this is really a personal, personal uh, relationship with God. Um, and anything personal, it begins, you begin to really look at yourself, right? And there's there's people that were in my life that are no longer in my life. There's people who are in my life that I'm closer to. And there's people who are in my life who are really close to me that are more of a distance now. Just because I had to begin to monitor, you know, what was coming in my, my, my life, what was being spoken to me, what was my surroundings like, right? And so uh, you you are going to have to take that inventory. When it comes to relationship with when you're dating somebody, you know, if they're abusive, um, if um, physically, emotionally, you know, anything, you got to begin to really ask the question, you know, is this person going to change? Is this something that's going to is there a way for me to get out of the situation if it's if it's bad like that? Right. Um, <clears throat> or can I get counseling? So there's things that, that this is the part. This is where the journey really starts, because. And and this takes time. This sometimes things happen right away, and then sometimes things take time for you to be able to get delivered from. Uh, there's some uh, emotional intelligence. There's some spiritual intelligence that you can learn how to deal with people differently. It's a grow. It's a it's a time period of growth. Uh, this helps you also um, be be more of a leader um, in your situation. Uh, you begin to stand up stronger and begin to understand uh, how people think. Uh, what they say, what they mean, their actions, uh, you being able to really uh, discern things. Uh, this is the journey. This is what is what is taking you through. But this process is beautiful because you'll begin to love yourself more. Uh, you'll be able to uh, really cherish your time and who you share it with more. And uh, you will find out that uh, you will find the most amazing people um, through this journey, you, you with that you're like, man, I, I wouldn't, I would have never met this person if I didn't decide to do this. And so I, I just want you to know that this is a great journey to be a part of. Okay. 
So let me read the scripture. So Psalms 141, 1 through 10 says, Lord, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands on the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity. And let me not eat of their dainties. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness and let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. When their judges are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words. For they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth, as when one cutteth the cleaveth the wood upon the earth. But mine eyes are unto thee, O God, the Lord. In thee is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the the genes of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while that is with all escape. And so that was Psalms uh, one forty one one ten. And so, you know, we want our prayers to be incense to God, uh, that our lives are a living sacrifice unto him, that any enemy or any snare or any trap uh, that is set up for us, may that trap, may our enemies fall in their own trap. They, they try to generously misuse us. You know, so, you know, these scriptures are really specific about things uh, that can affect your future and what God has sent you to do. So it's, it's, it's really, it's really uh, powerful for you to begin to find the scriptures that match where you're going in life, okay? And so, you know, the challenges for day uh, 12 is I want you to take the time to pray in the Holy Spirit. I want you to make time if you know, uh, to worship God for 20 minutes, right? And then what I want you to do afterwards, I want you to ask God to reveal things in your life that is holding up your relationship with him. Okay. It's really specific. You know, Lord, reveal to me the things that I'm doing in my life to hold up the relationship with you. I also ask him, reveal the people in my life who I should be close to, kept at a distance, or cut off. Um, pray to God about your job, your career. Pray to God about uh, your family, your relationships. Um, because you want to be able to be free to operate in the true heartbeat of God. And we talked about that. You want to operate in the mind of God, right? And I want you to write it down and see what the enemy is and what is an opportunity for God to move. And so... This is going to be this is really personal. Um, this is a, a very personal time period. Um, and so it's very easy to get distracted. OK, um, don't let this time distract you from doing the things you need to do. Um, I realized that I had a lot of things going on in my life. But when I sat down and I began to ask God these questions, God began to show me things really clearly about what I need to do. Now, some things didn't happen. I didn't get delivered overnight from it, you know, but it took time. It took time. It took time. It took time for me spending time in prayer. It took me time reading the Bible. It took me time sacrificing some things. It took some time not watching TV. It took some time not playing a video game. It took me some time not going out uh, to different places to, to uh, entertain myself. Like, so there's different things that you're going to have to do that's going to, you're going to have to steal away and allow God to begin to purify your mind, purify your thoughts, purify your actions, purify your relationships. And the reason why you want that to happen so you can truly begin to hear, see, and know what God has in store for your life. Okay? And so I'm going to end. This is day 12 of the Diligent Fly Prayer Challenge. And so uh, let you think I should end in prayer? I'll end in prayer. I'll end in prayer. And um, I'll see you on tomorrow. OK, so Heavenly Father, I thank you uh, for the reveal, Lord, where we be able when we're able to see the good, the bad and the ugly of the things that, you know, what we do in life. 
first of all, I just we, we repent of our sins and ask for your forgiveness. But we thank you for your grace. This really shows your grace and your mercy, how great it is, Lord, and, and how uncommon it is. Uh, and and we truly honor you, Lord Father. We're humble. Uh, we're humble uh, that you be willing to give us another chance, Lord, uh, to get things right, Lord, with you. Lord Father, as you can see, Lord Father, we're yearning uh, to know you more. We're yearning, Lord Father God, uh, to be more like you daily, Lord. Uh, we're asking, Lord Father God, we're, we're, we're on purpose. We're, we're, we're really intentional about asking God, you know, what needs to happen in our lives for us to be in your will. Lord, it's, it's about you, oh God, and nothing else, Lord. You know, we, we, we lift our hands and we deploy you into our lives, Lord, inside and out, Lord, behind the scenes and externally, Lord, in our relationships, in our finances, in our business, in our career, Lord Father, in our, our, our family, in our community, Lord Father God, put us in the proper place, the proper position, the proper mindset, the time uh, that we spend with you, God. Uh, we want to make it count, Lord Father. We want to be relevant Lord Father God, atmosphere of being relevant, Lord Father, I speak that forth right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for restoration. Lord Father, I thank you for rest, Lord. I thank you for peace of mind. Lord Father God, that uh, anything that is attacking our mindset, Lord Father God, to bring anxiety or our fear, Lord Father God. Lord Father, we speak faith. We speak prosperity of mind, prosperity of wisdom, Lord, in our lives, Lord, like never before. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So my name is Ricardo Cordu, and I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, that your days are sweet as honey, and that your life brings you much joy and much laughter. Remember, life is love and love is life. We are on the winning side. I will see you for tomorrow for the Diligent for Life Prayer Challenge. All right. Love y'all. Bye-bye.